Speaking of vain. We're just alley-ooping everything here. Ooping it's easy, all the easy transitioning. Alleying all the oops. Trump and the Washington Nationals. Donald Trump will not be throwing out the first ah. pitch. And I, by the way, I got so excited when I heard about this because for one, I'm, I was very curious what the response was gonna be. Yeah. And then, of course, like all of us now, we wait on our phones to see what Trump, Trump's gonna tweet. It was the greatest first pitch in the history of first pitches. No one's ever thrown a better first pitch than me. NFL owners don't want to pick him up because they don't want to get a nasty tweet from Donald Trump. Uh, but the best part is that Donald Trump a few years ago, because Twitter is a wonderful, wonderful thing, and Trump has never deleted his old tweets, even though if I was his campaign manager a year ago, it would be the actual first thing I did. Yeah. We're getting rid of your Twitter account and starting a new one, because these are atrocious. Now they're part of like national record. They are, like they can't be deleted, it would be considered illegal. Yeah. Which is like, I really hope he just does it to piss one off. <laughs> hope he deletes one random tweet with a typo. However, some of those tweets back in 2012, 2013 have to do with, well, Nationals pitcher Steven Strasburg. He's their <laughs> ace. When Strasburg leaves in a couple of years under free agency, Washington will say, what were we doing? He continues to say, by the way, it's 7.14 a.m. So much for Washington shutting down Strasburg. We had this conversation not too long ago. They deserve to lose. And lastly, when Strasburg leaves the Nationals for another team for more money, Will Washington still like the decision to shut him down for his good? Francis, what happened in 2014? Glad you asked. Strasburg signed a seven year, $175 million contract extension with the Washington Act. <laughs> this is really a special day, uh, a special day for me and for, for the organization. You know, one of our real cornerstones and, and a guy that uh, really put us on the map is uh, decided to stay home. And we couldn't be more proud. Proud of, of him and of and of uh, the city of Washington D.C. and and of uh, his teammates for him uh, making that decision. Just looking back and uh, you know making my first start in my junior year out there in uh, Compton, California, and uh, to see you know all the all the ups and downs that uh, we've experienced you know through the years, and I'm just excited to uh, you know go through those ups and downs again for another seven. So I'm really, really happy. What they believe in and what I believe in um, kind of coincide. So it's, um, it seemed like just a great fit uh, for me and my family. And you know, I couldn't be happier. And then bottom line is I play this game because it's, I'm a competitor and I, I love the guy next to me. And I want to do everything I can to help, help this team win some games you know, because of that. So what you're saying is what Donald Trump was saying didn't actually come to fruition. No, I don't I, believe it. Of course not. I really I, don't believe it. Do you believe I have more? Of course you have more. <laughs> Roll the tweets. Some of these are great. I played football and baseball, sorry, but said to be the best baseball player in New York State. As <laughs> Coach Ted Dovius said, best he's ever coached. And Brandon McCarthy, who's one of the best followers on Twitter. I asked Coach Dovius about you. He said you preferred to play in jeans rather than baseball pants due to piss absorbency. <laughs> uh, next. We got more. We must leave stop and frisk for A-Rod and Anthony Weiner. That's a good one, though. I mean, come on. That's oh pretty good. God. That's good. The Anthony Weiner one. Matt Harvey at Mets. Don't let the New York Daily News get you down. Nobody reads it. Play well. <laughs> and then, of course, the New York Daily News said, I don't think we ever thanked you for this kind tweet. Thank you to the New York Daily News for a very nice <laughs> story. By the way, those are uh, three years apart, but still pretty well, remarkable. It's, it's, it's amazing that... Because when people think that they say something because it's so far back that it's just gonna be forgotten. <laughs> like there's nothing better than to call out someone's hypocrisy when you have the literal evidence right in front of you to show. Like there's nothing better than uh, of recent like Kellyanne Conway going on saying basically that she stands by Trump and everything she said. And then you literally, her, but in her case, it's like two months ago. You just pull up the, the, the tweet of her being like, I could never trust anyone who's under investigation by the FBI. And then like you just right next to it, huh? Interesting. That's, that's like the best, I think that's the best way to put it. I love the people on Twitter go, hmm. hmm. Nice point, good point. Uh, but yeah, this is, I mean, this is just another example of the, the hypocrisy. If like, if for instance, like the New York Daily News example is the, the, the example, there's gonna be a million of them that we're gonna look back on in history of just an example as to how to win this guy's affection. If CNN just put out a, a, like a tweet saying, hey, Donald Trump, best friend. Not paying attention to me, well, the, I'm not was, ripping me. So I was gonna say, I'm curious if this experiment would work. I'm curious if we did a full one story on the network, just praising Trump for like five minutes. 
if he would take notice, retweet it, say great work, because he wouldn't pay, he doesn't pay attention. Yeah, to he it. wouldn't pay attention to every other story, but that we one have, would be enough. We have a whole segment called Loser Donald. <laughs> a whole, whole playlist, there's like 100 clips. Some people very, may not like that, but true. here's what I can tell you. Uh, in the sports scape, we all as sports fans want to see Trump throw out the first pitch. Why, Francis? Because after Trump, uh, well, a couple reasons. One reason is because normally the opening day, uh, the starting pitcher that day is the one who catches it. Yeah. Do you know who's catching? The guy he said should be. Strasburg <laughs> would be nice. pitching that day. So my God, I think that would be unbelievable. Two, um, I mean, he's the best ever in New York yeah, State. Yeah, everyone wants to see his arm. He better be throwing an absolute cannon. Do you know who's got a cannon? Who? Dan's gonna go. <laughs> Kaepernick has an 89 mile an hour fastball. He does? Yeah. Have he him did. throw it out. I he imagine. Did, I mean, I think that's not so surprising. We know that there's like there's a lot of things that translate over, I think, from quarterbacks to baseball. Russell Wilson apparently can chuck a Russell Wilson. Well, Russell Tim Wilson, Tebow. Russell Wilson played baseball at yeah. uh, NC State. Tim He's Tebow can throw a, a, a pretty fast. Who do you think? Pitch? Would you and okay, you have three presidents. Mm -hmm. You get to pick for your baseball team, the pitch that day. You get Trump, Bush, or Clinton. Who are you taking? Um, I'm trying to weigh up the physicality of this. Like Donald Trump's a bigger man. I think he's actually like he's pretty tall I'm as well. Talking pitcher, I'm not talking DH. We're I know, talking but I'm just trying hairs. to think. I'm trying to think of who could throw the fastest ball. You know, so I don't know. I think Clinton's got a pretty strong wrist. <laughs> <laughs> Funny. I was gonna say Bush because I just want to hear Cheney in the dugout. <laughs> throw a slider. No, I don't want to listen to you anymore. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'll, I'll take Clinton for it. I'll take Clinton for the win, for a nice curveball. Clinton FTW. I think he would. All right, well, gentlemen, ladies, comment below, like favorite, subscribe to uh, TYT Sports, we're over on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Instagram, we're everywhere. Uh, and everything is packed in the description box below if you're watching on YouTube, if you're watching on Pluto, make sure to check out the rest of the channel. There's uh, pop culture with Pop Trigger, there's, there's murder with friends, there's the Young Turks, there's lots of good stuff. So as always, thanks to Pluto, have a good Friday, and we'll see you next time.